And welcome back. Here's what you need to know to start your day. Many people here in the North State are now without power in this latest round of PG&E blackouts. The shutoffs began at 6 a.m. PG&E has reduced the number of customers impacted to 150,000 spread across 18 counties, and that includes Butte, Shasta, and Tehama. Schools across the North State will be closed today due to the PG&E blackout. Stony Creek Joint Unified School District has announced its schools will be closed today and Thursday. Foothill High School and North Cow Creek will be open, but Foothill will release its students early at 1230 and North Cow Creek will release its students at noon. We do have an updated list on our website at actionnewsnow.com. The Reading Police Department is asking for the community's help to solve a murder that happened 19 years ago. It was November 17, 2000, that Myrna Lynn Spuler was killed inside her home on Sherrill Drive. Police say it appeared she had been the victim of a robbery. Investigating the murder, that case went cold with no arrest. Anyone with information is asked to call police. The American Medical Association is calling for an immediate ban on all electronic cigarettes and vaping devices. The group adopted the new policy Tuesday. It aims to lobby for laws, regulations, or legal action to achieve a ban. The AMA cited the surge in teen e-cigarette use and the recent outbreak of lung illnesses linked to vaping. Ten candidates are set to battle it out Wednesday night in the fifth Democratic presidential debate that is taking place in Atlanta. Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders remain leading contenders. The candidates are expected to square off again on health care, gun control, immigration, and who has the best chance to beat President Trump. The House has passed a short-term spending bill to keep federal agencies running for another month. Tuesday's bill would avert a Thanksgiving government shutdown, but it opens the door to a possible shutdown just before Christmas. Senators are on track to pass that legislation in time to meet a midnight Thursday deadline, and President Trump has indicated he will sign that bill into law.